Hi, I'm Ashley Georgiakopoulos, the Lactation Director in IBCLC with Motif Medical. Today I'm going to be talking about flat and inverted nipples and what it means when you're trying to breastfeed. First, let's cover why nipples and the stimulation of them are so important in the aspect of breastfeeding when it comes to both breast milk supply and the release. That's right, it's not all about suction when it comes to drawing out the milk from the breasts. In fact, it's heavily reliant and more so on the stimulation of the nipples and the coinciding hormones and nerve action that all goes hand in hand to contract the milk ducts and release the milk into the baby's mouth. Or in the case, if you're pumping and you need a good letdown response to retrieve the most milk as possible. When our bodies are still in our mother's womb, we develop a lot of our breast tissue there. What exactly is nipple inversion and what's the difference between an inverted nipple and a flat nipple? Inverted nipples or retracted nipples actually have a piece of tissue at the trunk of the nipple on the inside of the breast tissue that's pulling the nipple and preventing it from becoming fully, if at all, extended. This not only can be painful for the mom if they're trying to pump or breastfeed, but it can actually make it really difficult for the baby to latch on, but also to signal the hormones and nerves responsible for not only releasing milk, but making milk as well. The big red button for milk release and oxytocin is the actual stretching of the nipple going in and out. The baby will do this when they're first latching on, and you imitate this when you're pumping with the massage mode. So if the nipple cannot be fully extended, we might need a little extra help. We can do this through something called twiddling. Twiddling is when you take your thumb and forefinger and stretch the nipple, creating a simulated effect that a baby or a pump would create without causing so much pain from suction. In more severe cases, because there are varying degrees of inversion, you might have to use something like a nipple shield or a breast shield. This creates a pre-shaped form for the baby to latch onto without drawing the nipple and causing pain. In this case, however, you will have to create other forms of extraction of milk, be it through hand expression or pumping, as the baby will not be able to pull out the necessary amount of milk to maintain your breast milk supply for the long term. These cases also need to be managed very closely by working hand in hand with an IBCLC or lactation consultant so they can do things like weighted feeds and do checkups so that you can make sure that your baby is drawing out enough milk and that you're protecting your supply for your individual goals and needs. Let's talk flat nipples now. Flat nipples have to do with where your nipple sits when you're at rest. When they're not stimulated, pregnancy will actually prep the nipples to a certain extent and create a natural erection to the nipples. However, some anatomies are different, just like with any other body part, we all look very different. And so sometimes the nipples will still lay in a recessed or very relaxed form that can actually make you feel like you have inverted nipples, when in fact, if when you apply stimulation to it, be a hot shower or cold weather or rain, or even just responding to your baby or through twiddling, and you have any kind of change at all in the reach of that nipple, you do not, in fact, have inverted or retracted nipples. They're just simply flat at rest. You might have to do things like twiddling or pumping or priming to help baby latch on better if they have a harder time responding to stimuli. It's important to address these issues head on because if you cannot properly remove milk in a consistent base, you will not be able to maintain your milk supply for the long haul, but you'll also be setting yourself up for other potential issues. These issues can be from not removing milk effectively and the milk sitting there creating engorgement and later mastitis. Damaged nipples from the baby trying to hold on will actually create little lesions in the skin that lead to thrush. In fact, thrush usually does not happen to healthy nipples. It usually happens to damaged nipples even on the microscopic level. To rule out if it's truly inverted or flat nipples, make sure that you are trying the different methods for stimulation, work closely with an IBCLC, and also check for things like positioning. Positioning will make a huge difference in how your baby is able to attach and latch on. Remember, it's called breastfeeding, not nipple feeding. So check the nipples as well. They should look relatively similar coming out as they did going in. So any lipstick shapes, seams, creases, clamping going on means the baby is having a hard time getting a deep latch. And this can be due to positioning, retracted nipples, flat nipples, but also things like tongue and lip tie. Your IBCLC will actually help get to the root cause of whatever issue or concern that you're having. So be sure to always reach out when you have questions or concerns. 
I hope this information was helpful and can actually clear up a lot of myths out there. For more information on retracted and inverted nipples as well as flat nipples and other topics regarding breastfeeding and pumping, you can see more at motivemedical.com blog.